my name is Sherry Stick. I'm the Fitness and Aquatics Coordinator at Carroll Lutheran Village's Wellness Center. In recognition of World Osteoporosis Day on October 20th, I'm going to share with you some exercises that you can do to keep your bones healthy. So really anything weight bearing, so anything where you are standing and bearing your weight is great for our bone health. So walking either outside, in the hallways, or on the treadmill is all very good. Um, also any kind of low impact aerobics um, or line dancing, anything that you're bearing your weight is always good. Um, in addition, any kind of resistance training, which could mean using dumbbells, which I will show you a couple exercises with those. You can also use water bottles, cans of soup, anything you may have at home um, for some added resistance. So I'm just going to show you some exercises. I'm going to do them seated. You're welcome to do them standing as well. But some exercises you can do that kind of incorporate major muscle groups, some shoulder exercises. You can do some shoulder raises, controlling the weight up and on the way down, just about to that shoulder level. You can do one arm at a time, or you can do both arms together. Another example would be out by your side. Same thing, just about to your shoulder level one arm at a time, or both arms together. Another example would be some arm curls, elbows tight by your sides, bringing those arms up toward your shoulders and back down. Good, again, both arms together, or you could do one arm at a time. And those are very easy to do at your home, in your apartment, um, so any kind of resistance exercises. Also, if you use the gym, any type of the uh, resistance machines are also a great option as well. Another thing that's great for your bone health is being more stable when you're out walking out and about. So strengthening those leg muscles is very important as well. So a couple seated exercises you could do would be leg extensions, where you're extending your leg out and then bringing it back in controlling the leg up and on the way down. If you do want to work a little bit harder, one option would be to pick that leg up off the chair and do some extensions that way. And then you of course want to do the other side as well, just controlling that leg up. And on the way down, you really don't need any added resistance for this. If you do want to work harder again, you can pick that leg up off the chair. Another option of really strengthening those stabilizer muscles in those legs are doing some chair sits um, or chair stands. And you can scoot forward in your chair a little bit, feet are about shoulder width apart, and there's many variations you can do with this. You can start by just using your hands on the arms of the chair. This would be the easiest variation. Another way would be the hands on your thighs, kind of standing up and sitting down. You could try your arms across your chest, standing up, sitting down, arms out in front, standing up, sitting down, or arms overhead. And those are all good options. I'm going to show you a couple exercises you can do behind the chair as well. So if you don't have a chair, you can use at home maybe a countertop in your kitchen. You want to make sure you have nice, good posture the entire time. And you can do some side leg lifts, keeping everything facing forward the entire time. And then you want to switch sides. Good. And then another good exercise would be some mini squats. So to do those, you're going to put your feet about shoulder width apart. You're going to pretend like you're sitting down in an imaginary chair behind you. So you're going to kind of stick your rear end down. You're going to sit down just a little bit and then stand back up. And in order to make sure you have nice, good form, what you want to do every once in a while is peek down at those toes. Make sure you can see those toes in front of your knees. So just a little mini sit down and stand up, making sure you always have a nice, stable surface to hold on to. Another option, you can add a little calf raise. So you go up on your tiptoes, sit down, stand up. So anything that's going to make those legs a little more stable when you're out and about walking around. So the good news is, it's never too late to start. 
getting those bones nice and healthy. Um, so if you have any questions or you want to see the resistance machines in the gym, um, our wellness staff will be more than happy to assist you with that. So really any activity you can do is going to be helpful for sure. Um, I hope you enjoy these exercises and take care. Bye.